Hey there! In this app, we are going to make a fun little quiz app. And it's going to be something where you're going to try to create a simple version of it. And then we're going to do a bit of what we call refactoring. So making it easier to write and maintain your code, because this will allow you to expand your app and do more with it. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to, well, make sure you actually have your iPad open and then you want to open Swift Playgrounds. I forgot to set this up. Please ignore me. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new app. And down here, I want you to rename this to Quiz App. Or you can call it whatever you want. It's perfectly fine. So rename over here. I'm going to call it Quiz App Explorers. And if you tap on it, now you can get started with your app. So the way the app is laid out is fairly straightforward. I'm going to have one question, which is a piece of text, followed by four buttons. Okay, so one, two, three, four. To get these four buttons in the grid, we're going to use a combination of two H stacks that are arranged in a V stack. So let me just show you what I mean. So first things first, let's delete away this image. We don't need it for now. And I'm going to get started with just the text. And for this quiz, we're going to ask people about Swift, of course. All right, so I'm going to ask a question about Swift. Uh, what is Taylor Swift's uh, 2020s concert series called? Okay, it's a Swift question, right? This is Swift Explorers. And down here, I'm going to add some modifiers. I'm going to say multi-line text alignment dot center. Okay, because you notice that it actually left aligned, even though the view itself is middle aligned. All right, and now I'm going to give it a stack over here. And inside this H stack, I'm going to give it a bunch of buttons. So I'm going to say button. All right. And I'm going to put in my answers inside here. So let's have the correct answer, the errors tour. And I'm just going to style it a little bit. I'm going to say button style dot bordered prominent. I'm going to be typing this a lot. So I'm going to copy and paste this modifier. So I'm going to have another button over here, button. Uh, let's have uh, the syntax errors tour. Ha ha ha, programmer joke. Syntax errors tour. So you've got to come up with some of your own quiz questions for this. Uh, I'll leave you to that. You can feel free to use mine. But uh, remember, you can press Control I to uh, re-indent. And down here, let me go another H stack. And I'm just going to move my mouse cursor a little bit. Uh, give myself some extra space by adding some uh, spaces over here. And I'm just going to have a couple more buttons. Right, so button, uh, the aromas tour. That sounds like a horrible experience. I would not recommend that to people. And again, the pasting is a bit odd, but and down here, button, uh, the, let's say, uh, areas tour. I don't know. Okay. All right. So there we go. We have a quiz. All right, so this is a very simple quiz layout. I encourage you to use this as a skeleton and improve on it later on. But for now, this is sufficient for what we need. Of course, right now, the buttons don't do anything, right? You tap on it, it will just light up and it won't actually give you any feedback or anything of the sort. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some feedback pop up at the bottom of the screen. So down here, uh, right after our two H tags, I'm going to actually have a piece of text that says, you're correct or you are wrong. And for this, because it's going to change, I'm going to have to create a state variable. So I'm going to say correct or wrong. Okay. And this correct or wrong variable is something I need to create. And you know where to create state variables? It's right here in between struct content view and var body sum view. So at state private var correct or wrong equals to double inverted quotes and there's nothing inside for now, okay? So, all right, so far so good. So what we want to do essentially is we want to just update this particular message when the user taps on it. So I'm gonna say, okay, uh, when the user taps on this, we are going to say correct or wrong equals to you are correct, all right? And for the rest of them, I'm gonna say correct or wrong equals to you are wrong. All right, you can use your own error messages. Uh, feel free to give the user hints or things like that, but don't get too uh, specific for now because we're going to make this a bit more generic later on when we add more questions, okay? So just have two different messages. 
one that says you are correct and one that says you are wrong. All right, and if the pasting goes wrong, you can press Control I to re-indent. Okay, so this is what my code looks like. It's getting a little bit unwieldy, so I'm just going to add some comments. All right, so I'm going to save comments over here. This is where the question is here. And down here, I'm going to say uh, the options are here. And down here, this is the uh, feedback for the user. Right, so feedback on whether answer is correct. Okay, so spacing out your code like this will help with readability in the long run. So let's test it out. So I'm going to tap on the errors tour. That is correct. Great. I'm going to tap on the syntax errors tour and you are wrong. If you tap on this, it won't actually change because, well, it's the same text, so it's not actually going to update. Same for if I tap on this. Okay, so that's a very, very simple starting version of the quiz app. You can spend some time decorating this. You can change the font sizes. You can change, you know, uh, these to have different colors. Okay, you can always change the background color of each of these buttons. You might want to add some SF symbols. Uh, some of you might have used Kahoot, where there's a square, triangle, and circle, and you might want to add those in as extra little things for the users to see. Okay, but for now, make sure that you have this working, and I will see you in the next video.